Alrighty, what is up everybody? My name is Muggy Liker, and welcome back to some Dark Souls 3. Uh, today we'll be going through, we're going to fight and hopefully defeat the Dragon Slayer armor. Uh, go over here, and then go over there, and then finally go into the Grand, what is it, the Grand Archive? Grand Library? Whatever it is, it is. If I sound a little out of it, it's probably because I am. Because it is 7.50 in the morning, and I just woke up. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a little... Yeah. Oh, Dark Souls 3, why you look choppy as hell. What was that noise? Ooh, tight that chunk. The game just froze a little. Come on, walk faster. Oh, you a bastard, that's what you are. Uh-huh. Yeah. There you go. Just for you. Yeah, it's not over here. See, I fear nothing at the moment. Only because I'm not online. Give me that knight's ring. Uh, more than likely, why do I have this on? Oh, yeah, Ornifex. Ornifex? No, huh. Osiris. Increases strength. I don't need that. But I do need that. I hear breathing. Come on, big man. Oh, I really wanted that sword. Oh, fuck it up. Let's just, uh, open the door. Yeah. Good. Eh. Tight night scale. Alright. What would they be under? Oh yeah, I only have one. That does suck. Pray at the altar. Praise the sun. Alright. I need, if I have any, a black fire bomb. I can only get one hit in before he fucking does his thing. Ah! 
Goodbye, dragon. All right, what is this thing? Ooh, a sow. All right, what we got? We got a damn mimic. Mimic down. Ooh, sudden light, straight sword. Braille Divine Tome of Lofric. Good, good. Kill him. Kill him now. Okay, uh. Let's go back to the shrine. I think I. I think the lady is healed, the braille lady. Let's see. Uh, I got some souls I could use. Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. I need faith. I need more faith. No, I don't have her. What happened to her? Because I got, I got a few tomes. Are there keys? Yeah, they're keys. Yeah, I got tomes. Come on now. All right, I need to. I want to go save her now, like for real. Uh, travel. Uh, cliffside. I mean, this is one that's the closest, so... <laughs> All I gotta do is take an elevator. I thought I saved her. Unless I didn't have the key. If I don't have the key, I don't fucking remember where to get it. Of all places, yeah, I don't remember where to get the key. Unless I have to buy the key from the old lady. The old handmaid. I think that's it. I forgot this dude, uh, Morn? Is your name Morn? Oh, it's Argo. Oh. Open from the other side. Hey, man. You like poking around in cells, do you? <laughs> How very genteel. <laughs> do I have the ring? The cat ring? I do not. But I do survive. It's <laughs> a lot of health, though. Jesus. It's a rat. It's a rat. Ow. That's why I hate rats. They stun like your ass. <laughs> there we go. Hello, Miss Lady. Uh, who is there? Me. Someone there? Anyone? Oh, please. Whoever you are, touch me. Touch you. The dark surrounds me, nibbles at my flesh. The nibble, nibble. Little creatures, they never stop biting. So please, hold out your hand and touch me. Ah, oh, yes, 
There you are. So close, indeed. And I am not entirely alone, just yet. Praise the merciful gods above. Yes, I got a prayer. Oh, forgive me. I am Irina of Karim. I came to this land so that I might be a firekeeper. Your touch has freed me from the darkness. You are a champion, then. I am weak and unfit to tend the flames. But if it would not trouble you, might I enter into your service instead? Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't oh, care. Thank you, sweet champion. I shall take my vows. I, Irina of Karim, solemnly swear to serve you. Yeah. All right. Hello. You've gone and rescued her, have you? Yes, sir. How very quaint. Pitying creatures that are beyond help. <laughs> yeah. Very well. I'm sick of looking after her at any rate. I am Egon, a knight of Karim. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. Nah. What's the matter? My terms are very simple. Yes, they are. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. <laughs> and I do want the safety of Irene. Or Irina. Or I don't know how you say it, man. I forgot. Oh, you pay attention. Hey, man! Ah. Uh. I know you. Been some time. I just dropped in to see how she's getting on. Now, what are you playing at with this circus? What do you mean? This cesspool of doddering old folk and degenerates. Couldn't be better. She must fit in perfectly here. <laughs> Hello, Irene. Oh, champion of Ash. Welcome back. I was not meant to be a firekeeper, but I am honored to serve you beside the bonfire. The gods are ever merciful. My gratitude lies with them and with you. I am yours now. Your wish is my command. Oh, you've brought me a real divine tome. Now I can tell new tales of miracles. Yes, you can. Tales of the greater miracles can be quite the epics. What fun we will have. <laughs> oh, you've brought me a real divine tome. Now I can tell new tales of miracles. Tales of the greater miracles can be quite the epics. Okay. Fun we will have. <laughs> Purchase item. A ring. That's the only thing she has. All right, we got heal, med heal, replenishment, bountiful light, caressing tears, deny tears of denial, homeward force, blessed weapon, and magic barrier. You know, in my home of Karim, I was a nun. I would be pleased to share the tales of miracles with you. Although, to be honest, I only know a few. But if I had a divine tome, I could tell you many tales and more. Oh, only I cannot see. Terribly sorry, but you'll have to find me a divine tome in Braille. You know, in my home of Curry, I will, though, but if I... Oh, terribly. 
Hi, bro. Pleasant. I pray for you. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> Ten thousand. Woo. Uh, let's see what Ludwig has. Ludwig? Ludluth. Ah, and tis as if it were he did all we could to smudge. Mayhap of what the thin light of these eyes might reveal to the eyeless such scenes of betray. This I don't know. Ludluth. Alright, whoopings, uh, magic. I don't really use magic, so I got it. Moonlight great sword. But that's the fake one. Man, no, you really know something. Not, but... I haven't really talked to you. Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. Let me have us seek the lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. Not fit to lick their boots. Don't you think? <laughs> what a sick joke. Asking us to seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. We're talking true legends, those who would link the fire. They're not fit to lick their boots. Firekeeper must be twitching with the light. But what do you really know about these lords of Cinder, these supposed legends? Let's take Aldrich for one, a right and proper cleric. Only he developed a habit of devouring men. He ate so many that he bloated like a drowned pig. Then softened to sludge. So they stuck him in the Cathedral of the Deep, and they made him a Lord of Cinder, not for virtue, but for might. Such as a Lord, I suppose. But here I ask, do we have a sodding chance? <laughs> the foot of Lothric Castle, Sorry. <laughs> an old path still runs below the tower of the undead settlement. It was used to transport sacrifices to the Cathedral of the Deep. You should see where it leads, if you the stones for it. What did he say? <laughs> I really wasn't paying attention. You haven't given up yet. Then you're a brasher lad than I thought. You can make better use of this. A heavy gem, huh? 